Hey guys, what's up? This is mp4podcast.com coming at you with another great video game recommendation for your iPhone and your iPod Touch. It'll probably work on your iPad as well. Uh, if you're curious if it will or not, just go to the App Store and read the info on this game. And also it helps if you buy the, the, the app through the device of you, um, that you want to have it on. Um, so the game is called uh, Dude Donna Patch. Um, and I'm running it on an iPhone 3GS. I did have some slowdown, but I had... Um, when I, what I did was I rebooted my phone and I had absolutely no slowdown. It was running perfect. Uh, that's because there's a lot of you know things, run, other applications running in the, in the background with RAM and stuff like that. So let's start it up and I'm going to show you a kick-ass game. This game uses a lot of graphics power. Um, so once again, if you do run into arcade mode, Game start. Yes, 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 yes. And this will let you know um, the reason why I'm filming this in 4x3 is a couple reasons. Because my memory, my other memory cards are filled up. And also, 4x3 allows longer uh, for the iPad being vertical as when it's something as far as horizontal. Um, Widescreen is more. So basically you can move it any way this way. And you have a bomb right over here. I kind of wish that button was over here on the right side. And I'm going to play the first level. I'm really impressed by the graphics in this, the colors, the explosions, the sound effects. It just makes you feel like you're playing a great 2D retro, you know, video game. Something that you would see back in the arcades when shooters were still big in the arcades. You know, some of the consoles that I really liked when I was playing 2D shooters was TurboGrafx-16, Sega Saturn, and Dreamcast. You can even see the water moving in the background. It's just not just a, a still image of water. I mean, it's actually, they're moving a, you know, a picture or something. It gives it more life to it. Which I kind of like the little um, details into the, into the game. And I'm going to save my bombs uh, for the boss that's coming up. Here comes the boss. And I got some bombs over here. And you can change your weapon of choice by going this way, hitting that. Let me see if I, like right here, there's a button right here. And I'm going to do a bomb. Come on, bomb. Here we go. I died on that one, alright. I'm better using my um, left thumb. And as you can see, there's the power for the enemy right up here. Absolutely no slowdown on this iPhone 3GS. <clears throat> Alright, let's turn this up a little bit more for you guys. Alright guys, so uh, this is pretty impressive. Do you guys really want to see more gameplay footage? Yes! Okay, I'll play another level. And guys, I'm going to leave the, the link for to buy this game on the App Store. Or if you want to purchase it through iTunes or however, it'll be in the description box and everything right there.
I'll give you guys 10 minutes of gameplay on this. <clears throat> These guys also do make another 2D shooter for the iPhone. I forget the name of it. It's Gal something. Phenomenal game. Phenomenal. What I like about this company Crave is that they're bringing these great Japanese 2D shooters, you know, back to the masses. Where before, you know, if you were a game developer, you still had to get approval through a, a third-party distribution company if they decided they want to sell this. With the iPhone, is like if you want to make this game, go ahead and make it. I mean. Apple's not going to deny you because, you know, for a video game, I know on some apps they don't approve because of certain rules and regulations in their games. I mean, on, with their approval process. Um, like just to give you an, uh, an idea of what I'm talking about, there was an application for the, uh, for the camera which slowed down the shutter in your camera. And in the um, agreement with Apple is you weren't allowed to change how the hardware works. Um, some people were saying, well, that's not completely true because um, they have approved LED flashlights for people who have iPhones, so you can use the LED light as a flashlight for stills. So, there's a little bit of um, debate going on about that. So stuff like, like games that they don't inflict on Apple's um, agreement at all. Unless you're doing something really weird with the game. I, I can't really even think of something that would be where they would say no to it. But these guys don't have to get any approval from anybody. They don't have to go through Nintendo, Microsoft, or Sony. They can just make their game and put it out there. And uh, I solely support these guys. I want to see these guys make more games like this. I want more Japanese games that come out like this. I mean, this is one of the reasons why I love gaming is because great 2D graphics. And these are games that I would buy $60 for on Xbox or PlayStation or Nintendo Wii. You know, even on the PC. I mean, if I can get like a big version of this, you know, more levels, I'd buy it in a heartbeat. One of the reasons why I bought my Sega Saturn, you know, I didn't have a Turbo Graphics, but I had a friend that had one, and I loved the 2D shooters on that. I didn't have the money at the time to buy one of those, but I wish I did. Music in this game is awesome. Let me crank this up a little bit. Alright guys, I'm up to 9 minutes in recording time, and I have one more minute of gameplay. Yatama! Whatever that means. That sounds like Street Fighter. But, you can tell I'm happy. I love this game. Thank you, Japan. Japan has some of the best science fiction, you know, mech stuff ever. And, you know, this is why I love a lot of anime from the 80s. You know, Robotech, you know, Cyberpunk Adventures. There's been a lot of good American stuff too from Cyberpunk. You know, Fifth Element. And this kind of just puts you back in that vibe of great TV shooters. Alright guys, I'm sorry, I'll probably try to make another video later, but I'm over my, 
going over my 10 minutes, guys. Take care and have a good one. This is MP4 uh, Podcast signing out, and please subscribe to the channel. Later, guys. Bye.